Hi everyone, really excited about today's message. Uh, today's is a little different than my normal message. It's going to be a little longer, and uh, I'm dealing with here the power of prayer. Uh, I'm going to jump around a little bit here on prayer. Uh, start off, I'm just going to mention the past few weeks I've been really blessed and been able to uh, sit in on the youth group over at Scottsdale Bible Church on their Cactus campus. Um, it's led by a guy named Ryan, and He's super awesome, really great with the teenagers and always inspiring them and uh, asking them really great questions and um, getting them thinking about uh, their relationships with God and, and about how to strengthen that and their relationship with Jesus. And, and he's just really awesome. If you guys are in the Cactus area over off Cactus and the 51 over near there, you know, uh, that's a great, great program to get into. Uh, whether you're an adult, go to the main campus, or, <coughs> excuse me, a teenager, and you're looking for <coughs> something in your area, it's really great, really awesome. Um, well, today's message, and the reason I mentioned them, uh, was based on something I heard Ryan ask the kids this last week. He got them asking about prayer. Um, and he asked them, how often do you pray? question that he asked the teens and I thought that was a great question to ask for you how often is it that you yourself are praying uh, do you pray once a day once a month you know um, only when you need something when is it that you're praying to God and spending time with him because I ask this because not to guilt trip you or make you feel really bad about oh man I never pray and I should or uh, uh, yeah sure I pray all the time I'm not trying to, you know, make you feel bad or anything. Uh, my question is to just get you thinking about it. Because prayer is such an important thing. It's a way to connect with God uh, and strengthen your relationship with Him. And Jesus Himself even was found oftentimes going off and praying. And He's the Son of God. He's perfect. I mean, I don't know about you, but I know I'm not perfect. Um, and so if he was doing it, then it's obviously something that God, uh, God needs and, and wants and is important. They even found in uh, Luke 5.16 says, But Jesus often withdrew to lonely places and prayed. And there are many other places in the Bible that are just like that. So next thing I ask is, is what is it that you're praying for? Right? That was something that he also asked the teens. They had some great answers. Uh, but is it stuff for yourself? Is it for stress at work to be relieved? Is it, you know, for things to get easier at home? Is it for your family? Uh, is it for sick... For, like, what is it that you're praying for? Are you praying for other people? Like a uh, sick friend? Uh, your worst enemy? <laughs> and uh, uh, Are you praying for your favorite sports team? Right? The Cardinals. Like, are they going to win this week? I know I prayed a little bit that they're going to kick butt against the 49ers. No shame in that. What is it that you're praying for? Right? Um, I ask this question, again, just to get you thinking. To start realizing, like, uh, if I am praying, what is it that's, that I'm praying for? And why am I praying it? And this leads into the next thing, which is not what we're just praying for, but uh, do we really believe that it's going to happen? So, um, moving into that, uh, let me ask you this. Do you believe truly in your heart when you pray for something that it's going to happen? Do you believe that, that when you pray to God that He's listening and He's going to answer? Or do you sometimes doubt it? I don't know about you, but I know for me, I sometimes doubt. I know that. Um, but the Bible says, and this is a really important thing that I was drawn to this week, ask and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find it. Knock, and the door will be open. For anyone who asks, receives. And one who asks, or seeks, excuse me, finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be open. This is Matthew 7, 7 through 8. I'll read it one more time. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives. The one who seeks finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be open. But problem is, it says it right there. It says it right there in the Bible. 
but we still doubt. We doubt and we don't think that, uh, that God can take care of these big things. For those of you who don't know my story, I was hospitalized um, in January of this year uh, with stre uh, strep pneumonia, a really bad case. I ended up uh, losing uh, parts of my fingers and, and my toes as well. And, uh, and was just, it was a gnarly experience. And when I woke up, you know, it, was, it would have been really easy for me to hate God and be mad at God and, and go against God. Uh, but the truth is, there's nothing good that's going to come from doing something like that. Uh, I realized in that hospital that I woke up, that, uh, that I was surrounded by people who loved me, that God spared me. That, wow, okay, so who cares if I have a little less fingers and a little less toes? I'm alive and breathing. And that's because of God and the Holy Spirit keeping me alive. And we don't know when we're going to go. A little glitch there in the computer. We don't know when we're going to go. We don't know when our time is. Like That's that's something that we can't predict. That's, that's all God. Uh, there's a verse in Mark 9.23. says, If... You can, said Jesus. Everything is possible for one who believes. He was arguing there, if you can, because someone was questioning him. And then he says, everything is possible for one who believes. I just want us to remember that, you know, um, because we do doubt. And again, I'm, I'm the guilty one as well. I'm talking about myself too, right? I know for me, um, with one of the things that I'm praying for right now is my kidneys to come back. Uh, and that's something I've caught myself in prayer, where I go to pray to God asking that He would uh, bring back my kidneys and bring me back to full health. But I don't really believe that it's possible. I don't really believe that the kidneys are going to come back. And I've caught myself doing that. It's human. It's, uh, it's, we're flawed. We're sinners, right? And again, uh, I'm the worst. We're all, we all do it. You know, everybody does it. Uh, everybody doubts. But I want us to remember today, and this is what I hope you take out of this, that we serve an amazing, powerful God who is po who, who can do anything, who has the power to move mountains, who created everything that's around us. And that's what I want us to take home today. That's what I want us to remember, is that as we go to pray, First off, go to pray. Spend time with God. If you're not doing that every day, you should be. Okay, I'm not trying to guilt you, but I kind of—I guess I kind of am. I want you to know that, that prayer is important and that, that you serve an amazing God who's capable of anything. So don't be afraid, afraid to pray for everything. And I know not always things come true, but... But we need to believe that they will, and we need to pray to Him as if they will, and know that, that He's capable of anything because He's an amazing, amazing God who created you and everything around you. So remember, to pr don't be afraid to pray big. That's today's message. Go home. Don't be afraid to pray and pray big because God can do anything because God's amazing. Thank you. Thank you for your time. God bless.